Hi, I'm Laurie from TimesWePlayMag.com, and this is a new game called Race Through Space, and it's from Ravensburger. The object of the game is to get all of your rocket pieces onto the moon and earn the most points. Now, to set up the game, you must make sure that you follow the instructions. There's a picture that shows you exactly how each of these tiles needs to be set for, so make sure you pay attention to that. And when you've got it all set up, you just roll the dice, and you move your rocket pieces that number of spaces forward. So I rolled a three, so I'm going to move my guy one, two, three spaces. Now, there are some special special spaces on the game board. The shooting star, if you land on that, you immediately move forward three spaces. The asteroid space, if you land on that, you have to stop. Also on the die, there are arrows, and that means that you can either move one of your pieces up to uh, the next colored piece that you have. So if I'm blue, maybe I want to move this guy up so that he's even with that guy, or I can choose to move one of my opponent's pieces back. So uh, there's a little bit of uh, excitement to the gameplay here, some twists and turns. Also, the game board is a moving game board, so every time it's the first player's turn, he must take the bottom tile and move it up to the front. It's kind of a confusing though because the instructions don't really explicitly tell you if the first player is supposed to move his rocket first and then move the tiles or move the tile and then move his rocket. Also what it doesn't tell you is if the first player happens to get out, uh, which can happen because if your pieces are on this tile that got moved, you go to the black hole and your pieces are out. So the first player is all out, we assume that the second player will then take on the first player's role, but the instructions don't really say that. So we just wanted you to uh, have some idea of how we played the game. Now at the end of the game, all of your rockets are going to be on these different space stations on the moon. So if this guy is the first guy to reach the moon, then he has to go to space station number 12. That's the highest point value you can get. The second rocket goes to space station 11, and so on. So when everybody is on the moon and on a space station, then you count up all of your points and the player with the highest points wins. There are a lot of rules and it might take some getting used to. You might want to do a practice round first just to make sure everybody understands how the game is played. And uh, once you get playing, it's kind of a lot of fun, but again, there are a lot of rules, so it can be a little confusing for kids. It's for ages six and up. We like that there are some twists and turns to make it exciting. We just wish there weren't so many, so many different rules to make it a little bit confusing. Uh, if you want to find out more info on this game, such as how much it costs or where to buy it, then come visit timetoplaymag.com, your number one source for all things play.